Hey, what's going on? It's Coach Clarence from Fit Over 40, and today I want to get personal with you guys a little bit. Here's a big confession that's true. I wasn't always into fitness and health. That's right. There was a time when I was living like there was no tomorrow, just reckless and just obviously that kind of living leads to trouble. I saw countless people around me suffering, living off prescription medicine, and just having trouble moving around. So one day I said, I don't want to be like that. I, want to, I don't want to live like these people are living and struggling just to get up and get down. So there was this prevailing attitude around the people I knew that you're just supposed to fall apart after a certain age. And I knew I didn't want that for myself. And that was the moment I wanted to do something really different. Even at a young age, the gym was a great resource for me in terms of therapy and escape from the realities that was around me at the time. Okay, look, before I move on, I don't want to forget this. Um, make sure you like this video, share with anyone you think it might benefit from, invite them to the group, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page, run over to YouTube and type in Coach Clarence TV, and I'll pop right up. I post weekly content. Um, there's always something new, and if you hit that subscribe button, it will let you know every time a new video drops, like this one. All right, so moving on. So in all these years of coaching people, here's something I learned that was a big breakthrough. And it's called being grateful for the changes. This was new news from my perspective because I've been pissed off, been depressed, been frustrated. I've been stuck. I had different family issues, work issues, relationship stuff, drama, blah, blah, blah. But here was a big aha moment for me, which I'm not going to spend a lot of time discussing. Um, but it was really the need to look within versus looking for everyone else to make changes to fit my needs. Right. So now I have this level of clarity that I've never possessed before around the need to work on myself versus the need to work on other people. Net net working on me is huge. It allows me to not be so impacted by changes other people make that might have some impact on the world or my world, I should say. If I'm really good with me first, the rest is secondary. And I don't mean that to sound selfish and it probably does. I only mean that the, I hold the keys to my internal castle and to get those doors unlocked first will allow for everything else to fall in line. OK, once everything inside is in place, the rest is all good. Maybe this doesn't sound like new news to a lot of you guys and maybe it doesn't sound like new news to me either. Right. Either. Either way. But truly understanding, understanding this versus saying it, I'm realizing are two different things. And that is very key for a lot of you folks. You need to work on you first before you can affect anybody else around you. So I think I came to this point by realizing something I wrote while preparing for my podcast a few weeks ago. I was looking at everything in my life, including my own well-being, and as a convenience to all things work-related, including my things totally out of my control. Right? This thought feeling is 100% my own issue. Certainly no one around me pushes me to do anything, but I have to do it myself. Once I realized that, you know, I just thought to myself, man, how fucking dumb can you be, right? You know this, right? And then there's a combination of all these events that happened over the last two years with this pandemic, just the craziness. I think it was a perfect storm in me questioning my priorities and where I was putting too much focus. So now what am I doing? Nothing I haven't been doing. I'm just finding myself getting less angry and agitated towards others and other people's actions or what they say or do and realize, how does that really affect me, really? Um, and it's usually coming from the same confusion of it doesn't. So I don't put anything into it anymore. Net word, net fix, right, is the right word for me. The word is contentment. That's the word I'm running with. There's an African proverb that says, when there's no enemy within, the enemy on the outside can't do you any harm. So I like to make that a little more positive and just say when we dial in on ourselves first, the rest falls in place. Now, you might be thinking, what the heck does this have to do with me? Maybe I'm just sharing a little bit and you can get something out of it. So why am I sharing it with you? Well, this is one of the main reasons why I do what I do and why I'm so passionate about helping other people reach their goals. Sometimes through our own trials, we can help someone else see something that's blocking them or holding them back. See, I've experienced so much in my own journey. It has made me who I am today and really want to help you achieve that in your life, too. That's the whole purpose of this group, everything we're doing, getting you to the next level. I was talking about this with a good friend on a Zoom call this weekend. And I know that sounds impersonal, but she lives in Canada. 
We talked about being vulnerable and how being real with yourself and having someone to help keep you accountable is so important, so invaluable. Coaching has helped me and so many other people break through plateaus, but full disclosure, you have to want to change and the work that comes with it. You could talk to somebody, I could talk you guys zero off. If you don't put in the work, you don't change how you eat, how you live, and nothing's gonna change. So let's talk about where you are on your journey. What's your story? What are your roadblocks? I'd love to hear where you are. I'd love to see if I could add some assistance. Wherever you are in your journey, finally achieving those goals could just be a few steps away. All right, with that said, hope you guys all have a great week. And I'm just a phone call away, one DM away, or just shoot me an email and let's talk about your goals. Have a great week, everybody. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing your comments, your DMs, and furthering the dialogue. Let's do this together. We got one week left in this month. Let's crush it. Until next time, peace.